Okay, so here I am with another uh, odd video. Uh, most of you that are viewing this now, um, you'll probably just be uh, photo geeks and such. Um, but for everyone out there, I'm going to go ahead and say that sometimes I smoke on camera. And I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to say that sometimes I smoke, but this is tobacco. I'm smoking pipe tobacco out of a pipe. So, no funny business. Now, uh, if you're viewing this, you're probably a camera geek, you're a lens geek. Uh, you're somebody, maybe, who's looked at one of my eBay listings uh, for an F0.75 lens. Um, but in general, you might be thinking, how do I adapt one of these lenses? How do I make one of these lenses work on a camera? And I'm going to tell you point blank right now that you can't. You can't. Hey, and look at this. I'm filming with one. So what is this guy talking about? Why is he showing this video? Well, I'm showing you this video because I have adapted these lenses and the process is in depth. Okay? And I still have further work to do to adapt these lenses. So, what I'm asking for here, and what I've had a lot of people do, okay, I've put lenses up on eBay, they're F0.75, with the promise of giving them information after they have given me money on how to adapt these lenses through my experiments. They're not fully completed yet. So, anyone out there who is interested in F0.75, very, very low f-stop filmmaking, what you really need to do is go down into the description, check out my eBay stuff, and buy an F0.75 lens. Okay? I know that you can probably get one cheaper, than what I'm offering, but I'm actually doing experiments now and showing you footage. I mean, this is actual footage of F0.75. And I'm, I don't know, five, six feet away? Uh, no, probably more like eight, eight feet away um, on a 65. And uh, so I've already adapted this lens. I've already used other lenses. And uh, definitely, I have an f1.0 lens of video that I showed, and it has over 10,000 views. A lot of views. And that's because people are interested in the subject. I know that you're interested in the subject. But I can't do this stuff for free. I know that you can find a lens cheaper. But if I can't afford spanners, a Dremel, uh, lens cleaning materials, uh, precision screwdrivers, uh, a lathe, or, and or uh, machine shop time, I cannot continue these experiments. I just had somebody not too long ago ask me about specifics on a lens and they promised me that they would buy it as long as I gave them information. I gave them information and then they did not buy it. I was very sad by this uh, because um, you know, I don't think that my information completely communicated what has to be done. I know the basics of what has to be done. I really need to dig in. and I need those tools in-house here where I am to do these things. And to my knowledge, there's only been a few people who have done these conversions. Uh, there are, there's literally, like, you could probably count it on this hand. This, five people, maybe, have done the conversion and been able to actually photograph decently with this lens. And I'm doing it to you right now. I'm showing you me with an F0.75. I can do it, but I need more tools to make it a very adaptable lens. And, uh... Once these things are complete, um, I will try to make more of these lenses and adapt them uh, 
custom adapt them myself and offer them for sale, but at the same time, I will try to offer this information, offer you the process, and let you decide if you want to modify it yourself or pay myself or someone else who picks up this information is able to use these insanely wonderful lenses to photograph with. So please go down to my eBay. It's down in the description. I will have a link to it. Please help me out. Buy one of those lenses. Uh, buy anything in my eBay uh, sale area and it will definitely help to support my efforts for not only uh, well I'll say this the if you buy one or more F0.75 lenses I only have one for sale right now on eBay that will directly go towards tool sale tool uh, it will directly go towards funding me buying tools uh, to continue my efforts into low f-stop uh, photography and cinematography. But if you buy anything else, uh, it will indirectly help me in that matter and at the same time uh, help me with other uh, experimental kinds of photography and cinematography that I do, which include anamorphics. Uh, it includes HDRV, which stands for High Dynamic Range of Video, uh, and of course, the low f-stop stuff. Um, and I also experiment with a lot of stuff like stabilization, um, um, uh, just like uh, really odd camera rigs and things. Um, I'm always trying to find new and interesting and inexpensive ways uh, to do very cool kinds of cinematography. Um, so, uh, if you buy something from me, these things not only help to feed me, because <laughs> that's always good, but they also help to further my experiments and to be able to share information with you. So, please help out with this insanely... I mean, I'm feet... I'm very many feet away right now. And this is, of course, a longer lens that I'm using right now, because I am about eight feet away. But at eight feet away, to have this shallow of a depth of field is amazing. <laughs> and the lighting in here is completely natural. And by natural, I mean I literally have, like, drapes on the windows. Um, it is uh, the middle of the day. It's about, to, well, it's late in the day, actually. Um, and I'm actually backlit. The, the sun's out there. Um... Uh, so, you know, it's amazing that I'm actually, uh, you know, illuminated enough so that you can see me. Uh, but I have uh, uh, blinds uh, on the window and drapes. And you're still able to see me at f0.75. These lenses are amazing. Please help me to further my experiments. Uh, and uh, eventually... I know that uh, some of you out there have bought these lenses and been disappointed by them, but I hope through showing you this video, you will go, okay, maybe there is something possible with these lenses. And maybe you're thinking now, you're thinking, maybe I just need a little guidance. And that guidance needs money. I need a lathe, I, a metal lathe, I need a Dremel, I need precision screwdrivers, I need spanners, and these things don't buy themselves. So please help me out here, and soon you'll be making this insanely shallow depth of field photography and cinematography. So, in the uh, words of my favorite YouTube musical artist, the ukulele, push the button, and this is going to take me a second to get to the lens. <laughs> that bokeh is insane whenever I come towards it.